Alrighty, it's no, um, I'm a turkey. Alright, it's uh, Noble Garden time in uh, Elwyn. And uh, I don't actually know too much about Noble Garden. So, uh, I know there's a couple different uh, things you can do. 20 shell fragments. Alrighty then. Have a good one. Task it. Safe travel. I think this gives a speed buff, right? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Put that on my queue for now. Help us speed around. I've I've done um, a little bit of Noble Garden back way back when uh, wasn't there an egg at the bottom of this pond? <sighs> Might be misremembering here. I don't know. Could have changed stuff and everything as well. But uh, I I never really went for any of the rewards. I just looked for eggs and got them. I know a couple eggs could spawn like in these little crevices right there and it's been a long time since I've done anything uh, noble garden related man I mean even just seasonal related I don't normally do uh, uh, holiday events in WoW Kind of just, oh wow, look at this place. Eggs all over the place, huh? Yeah. Like I said, I don't really... Oh, there you go. Cursed rabbit's foot. There you go. There's black tuxedo pants. I don't know what that's about. Um, to get all the rewards, you gotta do uh, a ton of these. I know that much. An absolute metric ton of eggs. Like the mount is 500, and then like a lot of the pets are like 50 and 100 and such. Large amount that's necessary. Alright, so that's the first little quest here done. That's gonna get us the cosmetic appearance and the toy. And we also have the you have a great I think that's the daily done. It's a stat, which I think is needed for something. I think it's needed for an achievement for Noble Garden. Oh, we have to use the uh, toy now.
Why can't... Oh, that's a weird decision. But, uh, yeah. Pretty much we're just gonna be doing a lot of, uh... This in the meantime. Uh... uh this isn't gonna be a requirement, of course. I've made that pretty well clear. But, uh, it is something I'm gonna, you know, work towards. I don't know how many I'll get. Uh, if I'll go for the mount at 500, if I'll go for more, if I'll go for, maybe I'll go for all of it, you know, all the achievements and that I can get. I can't get every achievement, but I can get most of them, but a lot of them is going to rely on just opening eggs and getting chocolates for the most part. There are a couple specific items that you can get from uh, opening the eggs, too. So I'll need to get them as well. The achievements for them, and it just saved you on chocolates. And since you need so many chocolates, being able to save on chocolates is a good idea. There you go. This is also getting us some adventures um, points here. We got a. Uh, we won't be able to do that. We can do that. But, uh... We can also do that one. Can't do that. So we can do 150 more. Five, 600, that's 800. Yeah, so if we do all of them... Can we... Is it, is it 50 points over, I think? We have to do this, uh do pet battles too, but oh, I'm really bad at looking this. So is it... This is the one that I would rather not do, because it costs a little bit of money. So if we ignore that one, we can do 100, 300, puts us at 750. No, we have to do it. Huh. Well, that's fine. It's not much money. It's, uh... Where is... The, are you the vendor? I, I think you're the vendor, right? Yeah. Goods. Yeah, it's uh, 12 of these, if I check correctly. Which comes to 120 gold. Yeah, Hello. which is like... Kind of rough, but at the same time... It's a little weird how it works, I don't know. I've bought them, so I've got a hide these things, wherever that may take me. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll get this all figured out. We'll try and get some actual stuff done here. Alrighty, we're not too far in here, and we got the spring rabbit's foot. Go ahead and learn that, little spring rabbit. That's going to be one of the items that we get just from looting the eggs. I don't plan on purchasing anything until the very end, so... We'll see. Also, one thing I figured out, specific? other than these eggs for the points, uh, you can just reloot the eggs you place yourself. So I'm only spending 12 gold for this. So this is not even going to be a huge um, money loss. So uh, with that being, you know, that being known, it's uh, pretty evident that uh, yeah, we should we should go for it. And there it is. So, uh, I think that's all of the other ones other than the noble, the daily quests. So, the volunteer guard day, uh, unfortunately, you have to wait all the way to the end. But, uh, every other thing, that actually will let us get Blades of a Loon, which is gonna be pretty cool, you know? It's gonna be a pretty cool appearance to have. I mean, it's definitely gonna be the coolest we have for a long time. And a little extra tinder. And, uh, like I said before, if anyone has any specific things they think I should purchase with the Tinder any month, Need something? let me know. Uh, because I, there's not much I plan on buying. But yeah, you can see already, oh, like you? Spring Rabbit's Foot, that saved us 100 chocolates. And we got the black tuxedo pants. Now, granted, that you have to get the tuxedo stuff for an achievement. If I look here at the... Um, I guess I, I didn't go over that in the last one, so I should do it here. World Event, and then we go to Noble Garden. So we gotta eat a bunch of chocolates, but you have to find the shirt and the pants. 
You have to get a you have to get the dress. We can't do this one. Um that one I think you can actually do. I think you just have to summon the pet. But we can't. I mean, I can get this. I can get one part of it, but that's it. I can't get any other. Uh oh, I guess I need to hide a brightly colored egg in Stormwind. I could do that. Spring flowers. I don't have that. I don't have that. And I need to find someone in an elegant dress once I get both of those. What do I need the blossoming branch for? I think that's specifically used for this one. So I guess I can get rid of these. I don't think I really need them. And I think they, they don't disappear though. But I don't know. Doesn't matter. We got more chocolates to get. Alrighty, just a little bit more. We ended up getting the spring robes right there from an egg. I need to do something with those. I can't remember exactly what, but uh, maybe no, maybe I didn't need to do anything with that. Anyway, we got them. Alrighty, there we are. That gives us the white tuxedo shirt and the black tuxedo pants. So that sets us up with the full set, giving us the, um, there, the spring tuxedo. That gives us uh, our first thing, and let me check real quick. I might be able to find someone in an elegant dress. I'm not seeing anyone right now. So uh, I'll try and keep my eyes open, and if I see anyone, I'll start this back up. Oh yeah, I forgot to record it, but I did get the spring flowers here. So this is an equipable offhand that allows me to put rabbit ears on people, and there's an achievement, which I got right here. Or you have to do it on like every race so we're gonna start working on this no guarantee that we can actually finish it because you know we have to do all the horde races too so um, we're gonna try and get it as many as we can but uh, no guarantee that that one finishes for sure we're up to 200 chocolates that's our third pair of black tuxedo pants that's another pair of spring robes that we already had and we have uh, three spring rabbits here, so we might as well learn those. Bunch of blossoming branches, but uh, slowly but surely. Oh, we just got the blushing bride achievement. I finally found someone wearing the elegant dress. So uh, with that, we um, get one more achievement here. Figured I'd show it, open up a couple chocolates here. Uh, our um, amount of pants that we have has grown tremendously as you can see but uh now we just need to get a bunch more chocolates and uh keep throwing flowers on people and also um get the uh, couple drops from the eggs themselves um we have to get an elegant dress from an egg for the achievement and then other than that uh Everything else could just be grinded out through purchasing, through grinding more chocolates. It'd be nice. There's quite a few items you can still get. There's the elegant dress. There's um, uh, like some bunny ears. I think one more thing, but that might actually be it. It might just be the bunny ears. And, and if that's the case, I mean, it's only 50 chocolates. Let's see. Yeah, you can get this. I don't think, I think you have to buy this. This one you can get, this one you have to get from the egg for an achievement. These I already have, that I have. I don't know why this one's not showing up. Uh, that one I have. Yeah, and then these has to, all of this has to be bought. All of those have to be bought. Yeah, so... Pretty much only two other items to get from eggs other than chocolates themselves. And then we need like, a, it's like 1,700 chocolates or something for to purchase all of the cosmetics and get the achievements and stuff. So, uh, slowly but surely, we're at um, nearly 300. So, almost working on a fifth of the way there. Alrighty, here we are. We got one of the other drops here. We got the spring circlet. And that is... Boom, that saves us 50 chocolates down the line. 
we it was pretty soon after our last thing we also got another spring rabbit's foot so that's our fourth one of them so uh that's gonna be an interesting thing <clears throat> and uh extra tuxedo tuxedo shirt um so now we have we have to get the elegant dress from an egg because there's an achievement for it and it, and that will save us another 50 chocolates and then from that point on it is all about uh just getting chocolates we uh will have we have to buy an egg and ha put it in storm wind that's the eating the chocolates and we can't do the rest we have no access to any of the deserts i'm you know doing this best i can doesn't work i don't think this counts right yeah because i think he has a costume on so it's not gonna let me dwarf shaman that worked all right so we're getting there one by one on the alliance races we still have gnome dran and worgen right and then the rest are horde yep uh and we'll get that done uh, you know get that as close to being done as possible um but yeah slowly but surely Alrighty, and with that we just got the elegant dress we got it from the egg there dress for the occasion and with that, now at this point, I'm going to continue wearing this dress, by the way. So uh, anyone who needs to get the kiss achievement can get it. Because um, I am a nice guy. Well, I try to be. I already got the kiss achievement because someone else was doing the exact same thing. So I also got some more tuxedos shirts. I have uh, four pair of tuxedos that you see. And I have six rabbits so far. So... Uh, Two pair of spring robes, and then, what is that, six blossoming branches, one spring circlet. But, uh, yeah, so with that, all that's left is going to be chocolates for the achievement and the stuff. So I'm actually going to sell these. We're not going to keep track of these because, wait, they don't want the tuxedo. You can sell the pants, but you can't sell the shirts. Interesting. Interesting. But these are bind and equip, huh? It's also interesting. The pants are immediately soul bound, but the shirt is bind and equip. Well, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to keep the pets just because they're like 100 chocolate each. So, you know, th these are 25 each. So they're like pretty quick to grind out. But these pets are actually, you know, decently expensive. And uh, also because like people, you got to loot the tuxedo shirt and pants from the eggs for the achievement so if you care about these you're especially considering only one of them is like the pants are soul bound so i can only you can only trade one at one piece of them so i'm gonna keep the pets though i don't know we'll just uh that'll be the one thing we keep track of how many we get i'll probably delete blossoming branches too uh angoro is a long long way away and I don't even need the branches. The branches would just be to help someone else. So I'll be deleting these too. Uh, you can get the mount from eggs. I didn't think that was possible. Huh. Okay. Well, that saves me a lot of grinding right there. Yeah. Huh. I did not know you could get that in the eggs. I thought you had to buy it for 500. Well, that reduces the amount of chocolates I need down to like 1200. That's a huge fun. I, I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, there's all my good luck spent. So, for anyone wondering, um, we're at 1,500 casts for the 15-pound mud snapper currently right here. I've got, I've saved everything. I've started f every every cast I've caught since uh, I started fishing at 130. Um, fishing skill level 130 is when I really started the. Uh, grind uh of fishing like completely in l1 um and i've got over 1500 casts 
or around 1500 it's some somewhere around there currently with no 15 pound mud snapper so we're probably going like 5,000 dry or something like that on that for getting that but I mean saving I mean 500 chocolates would probably be better than like the thousands of fishing but there is no actual you know unfortunately it's not like I can actually make that decision on which one I would rather do but uh yeah anyway all right, so now I think there's nothing left for us to get in the eggs. I don't, I mean, I mean, that's just, that was ridiculous. Well, win some, lose some, I guess. All right, I was wrong again. You can get the spring forest pouch from the eggs as well. I, do, I don't know what is available and what isn't, apparently. We might not even be close to getting everything. <laughs> but there's a toy. That's the one needed. Uh, by the way, uh, as you could probably see on your screen, uh, I am still killing Narg and Theros, even though I'm 99% certain that their items do not drop. Uh, I still kill them. Not as consistently as I used to, but I still fly out here and kill them every now and then. Um, just hoping for the chance that maybe... Maybe the, if the item does drop, I'll get it. And then I can prove... I, I can prove that they're real and... I have it like... I don't know, that there's something. There's something to be said. But, uh, yeah, no. I'm, I, I mean, they're probably not real. So, uh... It's probably fruitless, but at the same time... I have to still mine copper, so, I mean... It, Gives me a reason to go out here and mine some. Alrighty, here we are. And we have... We're at the point. I'm getting ready to place my Noble Garden Egg in Stormwind for the Noble Garden Achievement. Reloot my egg. Pop it open for the chocolate. And that leaves us with 1,100 chocolates, which is the exact amount we're going to need. On top of that, we're going to get rid of our dress. Delete our rabbit's foot. We didn't have no need for this. Pick this up. Uh, new little appearance here. I should be showing these appearances off a little bit. That's what it looks like. It's not a bad sword appearance, actually. I kind of like it. I, I like it more than this thin one. Uh, it's got a little bit DPS upgrade, but the strength loss is not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah. This is, we ended up with six of the extra spring rabbits. So, that means we looted nine spring rabbits extra <clears throat> during this grind. Um, I believe we ended up with three of the toys, the spring florist pack, and then who knows how many elegant dresses, tuxedo shirt, tuxedo pants, and spring robes, and spring circlets. I think I only got two bountiful flowers or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. It wasn't a lot of flowers. I know that much. Um, isn't there a way to show your bank through Bagnon? They removed that. Huh. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a way. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. So this should be... We did manage to loot uh, every item lootable from the uh, eggs. It was spring flowers, spring robes, the spring florist pouch, white tuxedo shirt, black tuxedo pants, the elegant dress, the spring circlet, of course the spring rabbit's foot... And we got a swift spring strider, which was insane to get. So that leaves us with buying a noble garden bunny, the mystical spring boki bok boku bo uh, ignore me. Uh, the black, the pink, the blue, the brown, and the yellow spring circlets here. A Drake's big basket of eggs and the noble gardener's hearthstone. Yep. So that's gonna be. Plenty of pets. There's 15 pets all in Elwyn. So, it's quite a few pets. Uh, we also are going to get this. I don't know. I don't know where you... That's, I think, uh, Shadowlands. Uh, we have the circlets here. Give us some more head appearances. Uh, these all look the same. They're just slightly different colors if you've never seen them. Uh, we have Drake's Big Basket Eggs, which, uh, I mean, we'll, 
we're never going to get a dragon riding mount, so sure. But then we do get the uh, Noble Gardener's Hearthstone, so we actually get a little unique Hearthstone here. Look at this. Holding the egg, flowers, everything. Looks pretty nice. I It's weird that it, it gives you a spring circlet, summons the rabbits. I mean, that's pretty interesting. 250 chocolates. Um, the only other thing is we uh, need to eat a hundred of these real quick. So there's an achievement for eating a hundred. I'm, I'm going to actually see what the uh, well-fed buff is, how strong it is. 25% of my level, huh? So... Hundred and seventy four and seventeen. So if I click that off, nine. Nine nine of each. Nine's not bad, that's way more than these, but uh I don't think I'll farm uh chocolates for the buff. I don't think that'll be necessary. Now we actually will have, um, I will still be coming and doing the daily quests. I just decided to finish up a little early here just to have it all done. Boom, chocolate lover. Now we got 75 more. Um, but yeah, I was going to finish up. Like I said, I'm still going to come do the dailies for the experience and the gold. I mean, the daily gives like 13, maybe 8, like nearly 20 gold or something like that per day I do it, so... I still would like the money. We're going to need a lot of money. There's a lot of things to buy in Stormwind. Um, but other than that, the one thing I wanted to do since I kept these pets, um, if anyone watching wants a pet, I'll cage these, I'll cage these rabbits up. I'll, I have six extra here. I'll hand them out. Servers of Shara, um... You just, you can whisper me in game, name's Lightlocked, or you can leave a comment on a video, and I'll, I'll give you a pet. I, like I said, I have three already, and I got six extra from the eggs, so I got nothing else to do with them, and they can't be vendored, and figured it might be a little, I mean, I, I know the pet isn't rare, obviously, or expensive, it's only a hundred chocolates, but if anyone doesn't do the seasonal events, and wants a spring rabbit, you're free to have one. I, it it would have mattered. I feel like this would have mattered more. It was, this was the same game plan I had if I got an extra mount from the eggs. Uh, I would have been handing it out as well. But I didn't get one. So, I mean, that's, you know, that didn't happen. Boom. Chocoholic. So, that means the only things we have left requires Angoro, uh, Azure Mist Isle, Teldrassil, and... Dunmoro. I've been working on this one. There's not many horde here, but I have got a undead and a blood elf that I've seen. One of the blood elves is in the trees here in Goldshire and has been killing people. Uh, I'll try to get the rest of these. Uh, once Noble Garden's over, I think they will probably, some people will come back. Because you don't have to do this during Noble Garden. I'm pretty sure the spring flowers don't disappear or anything. So I can actually do this throughout the year. So I'll probably just carry those on me. And, uh, try and get this done as I can. It's not a requirement, but, you know, it'd be nice to have it finished. And then this requires Desolus, Teneris, Badlands, Silithus, I mean, tons of places. So the other achievements we can't get, and unfortunately, the, all the ones we're missing are required for Noble Gardener. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to get, uh, the meta achievement, which would have been our first title. It would have been our first title for uh, the Noble, which would have been Lightlock the Noble would have had a good ring to it, but nope, still no title. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants uh, a rabbit, just like I said, either leave a comment on a video, message me in game, Shara is the server, whatever works best for you. Uh, but that's that's gonna be it for uh noble garden it's actually a hundred percent done for everything we can do and with this we have a nice clean inventory which sets us up for uh stockades which is our next point of interest y'all have a good one